hi folks so I have got a peculiar scenario a scenario where you would you have an indeterministic solution uh, now what do I mean by indeterministic solution something where we are not sure uh, or, or the decision is to be taken at the runtime and and the file that needs uh, an SSIS needs to be empowered to make the decision and uh, load the right files on, on into, into the right tables now starting with what I have here is three files I have the file 1 2 and 3 these are all flat files demo flat files which contains uh, employee uh, related tables data now these are simple files and these files need to be loaded in SQL server tables which are uh, like uh, this, the schema of them uh, is something like this I have created hypothetical tables load file 1 file 2 and file 3 now this is the directory uh, where the file should be present so this is dump file uh, dump file so this is the directory where it needs to be present now what I have here the scenario is I'm not sure from production a directory what are the files uh, which will arrive I mean what do I mean by that I mean that I have three flat files but I'm not sure on any particular day whether it could it is file one only or is it file one two three or it's just one and two or just three and two I mean in, in any sort of combinations I might get files and the other file might not be there for load in that scenario the, the question is I need to make the decision or make the choice or empower SSIS to be able to make the choice and, and load the files which are actually available and not the ones which uh, which I mean leave the ones which is not there and and also since we are going to since we are using SSIS we should also be using the parallelism advantage so so we want to process all the files parallelly so in the in such scenario I am going to explain selectively disabling the task now what do I mean by that now let's take a look at this package that I have for demonstration uh, I have declared a few variables the first one which is uh, used is, is var dump directory this points to the directory which from which the files need to be loaded or, or which needs to be checked next I have three important variables which are var file 1 2 and 3 which are of all boolean types and they are by default assigned a true value uh, those are the, the four variables which are useful or, or which are in context to this demonstration now what I have here in this uh, demo is a, a, is a simple script task which uh, uses a read only variable as dumb directory and then uh, it uses a read write variable as the var 1 2 and 3 and the script which assigns the value now what what do I have in the script here I have I am going to check for each of the files if they are present at this dump directory or not this is the dump directory I'll, I'll try to check each of the file and based upon the files existence I'm going to set the value of this variable as false and uh, if the file is present if it's if it's not present by default it's going to be uh, assigned a value of true so that's all that this uh, script task is doing now what, why am I doing that let me try to explain I, I am trying uh, a, in the simple load sequence what I have is three data flow tasks each of them load the file uh, from the same the, the dump file source to the destination load file 1 2 and 3 respectively so that's all that they are doing here now that that's all that, that they are doing here now what I want why have I done like that this is this is a uh, the this is using the essence of parallelism It's going to load in, in, a, in an event where all the three files are, are available it's going to load all the three parallelly uh, now I, I am not sure whether the data flow task 1 and 2 will run or 1 and 3 only will need to run or only one will run in I mean uh, I do not know the combination it depends upon the availability of the files that's all so in such scenario I am going to use the property of disable I mean you just use the uh, you just click on the data flow task and let's try to see the expression what I have here in the expression if you look at the expression 
I'm going to utilize the expression value of for disable and, and, and map it to var file 1 so that's uh, that's it by default the disable value is true which means all the three tasks will remain disabled in, in, in the initial state uh, so all the three tasks remain disabled in the initial state and at the time of the execution it's going to be decided whether this uh, data flow task will be enabled or not parallelly there is there is one more uh, so that's that's true so so that's going to be decided at the runtime so when the file when uh, the sql server runs this or, or, or the package is run it's going to be it's, it's going to check if the file is available if it is available it's going to set the dis disable value or the disable expression to false and which will automate or, or which will uh, enable them which will enable the data flow task and, and hence the uh, the load will work so let's try to see a simple demonstration in in the first scenario let me try to uh, I'm deleting all the three let me copy all the three so this is a scenario when all the three are present so uh, what is uh, this there's a script task then there is a cleanup so this is going to truncate all the three tables that I have before loading and let's try to run this package So all this explains is selectively selectively disabling this uh, package and and running selective tasks. So what, now what I have here is all the three data flow tasks have run and they have loaded. Uh, if you see, that's file one. This is file two and this is file three. So it is it has loaded all the three of them. Now let's try to use only one of the files. I'm keeping only one of the files here and, and, and then reprocessing. Right, so now if we, if we check, what we find here is there's the, the, the load has occurred only for file 1. The 2 and, and the 3 uh, are, are not loaded. Still the package has been successful. So what it means is the SSIS package enabled the data flow task 1 while it kept 2 and 3 as, as, as disabled. So in another scenario, let's just take two of them and I'm deleting uh, and I'm keeping 2 and 3 only. So let's run this. Right, so it just loaded 2 and 3 for you. So that's a simple demonstration for you guys how you, you can override dynamically and, and enable and disable tasks at, at the runtime during uh, the run of your package so it's uh, it's again uh, empowering your SSIS package to uh, selectively disable a particular task at the runtime thank you friends